Well, high school graduation is supposed to be a time to celebrate student success. But for students in the foster care system, that celebration may not happen. Global logistics firm Cargo Services is working to change outcomes for Indiana foster students in a big way. And here now to talk about how that happens is Cargo Services Chief Financial Officer and co-founder Steve Fugate. And Steve, welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Appreciate you having me here. I want to talk about your great work uh, in the foster uh, uh, care system. But first, Car Cargo Services, give us a thumbnail of the company based right here in Indianapolis. We're here in Indianapolis. Cargo Services is a full, full service. Uh, freight forwarding, customs brokerage service. Um, been here for 25 years. Uh, local, we, we, yeah. uh, we do everything from booking to uh, vessel work to airlines to customs clearance, overseas work. Uh, we are represented in 191 countries, wow. 800 cities. Um, we just get it done for Indiana. And Indiana is such a, a unique state in that it's number two in life science exports. Mm -hmm top five in lumber logs veneer so there's a real need for importing and exporting yeah. out of the state yeah real success story um, and, and you have created or are creating a success story too when it comes to the foster care uh, system how did cargo services how did you get engaged or involved in the in the whole uh, situation? so we were approached by uh, the Indianapolis Colts and the Department of Child Services we have a, uh, a sponsorship with the Colts and the story the, the origin of this story starts here. It, there was a guy by the name of Steve Pemberton mm -hmm. who grew up in the foster system in Boston. And at age three, he was pulled out of his house. His, his dad was actually killed. His mom was a drunk. Uh, and he was put in the foster system and just beaten and, and just, it was a bad situation. He tells a story, he's at a conference here in Indianapolis, tells a story to a group of Department mm -hmm. of Child Services employees that he was sitting on an intersection street corner a lady stopped by, pulled a box of books out of her car, set it down beside him, and took off. He attributes those books to being the catalyst for him to not only graduate high school, but to eventually become a vice president for Monster, to become a vice president for Walgreens. Wow. So he tells this story to the Department of Child Services, and the director at that time, Jim Payne, leans over yeah. and says, I want books in our, mm -hmm. our foster kids' yeah. hands. So they pitched this story to us, and we decided that's just something we got to be involved with. So we are, we are wanting to give 25 age-appropriate books to each foster, foster kid that's in the system right now. Wow. So in the last eight years, 800,000 books have been collected. Over 8,500 backpacks have been distributed. But as you know, it's a fluid system. There's, right. there's kids going into the system all the so time. So obviously this reading program has been a great success and continues to grow, but that has led into uh, a graduation celebration, if you will. Right? So it, it really has. So the, the first six years of the, system, of the Books for You system, we, we were giving kids probably ages anywhere from three all the way up to 10, 12, 11. And realize, hey, we're missing a group of kids here that what they call collaborative care that are aging out of the foster care system. So ages 15, 16, 17, most kids have never been in permanent placement. And we actually met with a group of those kids and said, what is it within this system that a company like Cargo Services can help you with? And it was really eye-opening. I mean, life with kids is hard enough when, yeah. when you've got a stable system, when you don't. Right we realized that some of these kids were saying, I don't know how to get a driver's license. Uh, nobody's taught me how to apply for college or fill out a FAFSA. So we put our minds together and thought, let's acknowledge these kids that are trying to stick through this and, and with their education and, and graduating high school. So we decided to use our elements and our partnership with the Colts uh, to just throw these kids a, a graduation party. So this is our third year in doing it now. Uh, the kids are provided with a small scholarship from Cargo Services. Mm -hmm. uh, we're involved with another company called Connected by 25, which helps these mm -hmm. kids all the way up to age 25. Uh, they, they match any funds that we give. Uh, the Colts give them a football that recognizes that, but we open up the Colts mm -hmm. facility for them to invite wow. 30 of their friends and, and their support system, you know, the teachers, yep. the coaches, anybody that's helped these kids throughout the system. Throughout well, it's, the it's a great uh, program and something that has grown from your early days with the reading program that continues in 2008 through this graduation uh, ceremony. So Cargo Service is making a difference in the foster care system. And Steve Fugate, co-owner at the company, thanks for joining us. Good luck uh, going forward as well. Absolutely. Thank you for having All me. All right. Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters. 
by clicking on the link.